the nice thing about something like this, anybody can do it, you know? I mean, it's just not hard. So even a guy like me, <laughs> uh, even a guy like me can do it. This is the, the joist up in the ceiling there uh, to do her pull-ups on. So she's been on me about not being able to do her pull-ups and she doesn't like it and she wants me to fix it. So I'm fixing it right now. What's up Homestead homies? It's Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, and I'm Doug. Today I'm sitting in front of the greenhouse that we built last winter. You might want to go check that video out. Right here we have a whole playlist on how we built it and uh, the Tough Tex panels and everything that we used. So today what I want to talk to you guys about and show you in this video is a miniature greenhouse. It's called the cold frame and you guys can use this wherever you are. If you're in an apartment or a small space, um, they used to use these, they're called kitchen gardens and they would have them right outside the kitchen uh, in the old log cabins uh, for the missus to go out and pluck her herbs and her greens uh, to prepare their daily meals. So this will also allow you to extend your growing season so you can start earlier in the summer uh, or in the spring and you can go further into the fall and even maybe overwinter your greens in this cold frame. You can use individual pots and put them in there or you can actually fill it with dirt and then grow right in the dirt inside there. So what we're gonna do in this video today is I'm gonna show you guys from start to finish how to put it together and then at the end we'll talk about how you can get one for your place. All right, so now we're gonna unbox. This is exactly how you guys are gonna receive this package uh, if you get one. So it'll just be in a cardboard box. Then right on top we'll have instructions and then a couple packets of the material that you're gonna to need to put the thing together. It's gonna to be super simple to do. It's like four easy steps and then you're gonna have a cold frame so you can extend your growing season. Everything is made out of cedar. Uh, it's top grade, like uh, rough cut cedar. So it's not like uh, fencing or anything like that. It's a good uh, grade of cedar. Actually in wood, there's actually different grades you can get. And this is a higher end one. Inside here are wooden enclosure strips. Um, and they're also been treated. So they're gonna last a long time, as you can see right there. So we don't use the foam ones like sometimes you use with this kind of material. We actually use the wooden ones. So they're gonna last you a long time. And the reason why it's packaged like this too, I know you guys are seeing a lot of brown bag and foam and stuff is because it's, we're shipping this to you guys, uh, UPS or something like that. So we wanna make sure when it gets to you that it's totally intact. So we got uh, a side here. I'm gonna pull out all these panels and then we're gonna put it together and you'll see how easy it is. This is the lid right here. Um, you'll see how that goes on, but it basically is just going to be lifting up like this. It already comes hinged and ready to go. All you have to do is just add a few brackets and some screws. We tried to uh, come up with the concept to make it as easy on you guys, the end user, as possible. And of course, if you guys want to make your own cold frame, you could do that as well. This is just a way uh, that we were able to put something together for you guys uh, that aren't handy with uh, doing this kind of stuff. And also, it helps fund the learning center on the homestead. Now here are your sides right here. So you have two sides and then even on them, uh, it's burned in. It says off grid with Doug and Stacy cold frame. And that is uh, again, limited edition because there's only gonna be 49 of these available. There was 50 in total. Now we'll show you guys just how easy everything goes together. So on the directions here, you'll see that everything is numbered and labeled very clearly. And then basically you're just going to get started by putting on your brackets. And only thing you're gonna need for this whole assembly is a Phillips screwdriver. So it's super easy for any skill level uh, to put together. Another thing you're gonna notice here that uh, we took the extra time to put the uh, pocketed screws in here and that just keeps um, them out of your way and also gives you a better fit and finish right here. So you'll like that, and that way you won't scrape your hand on them or anything, so everything stays smooth and is able to uh, hold together really nice.
Now we're going to put on the front, and it's the same process. You just put on the brackets, and then everything will be uh, coming together very smoothly. Super easy. And then the uh, last thing we have to do is put on the lid. So we pre-drilled the holes here as well, so you won't split the cedar. Now one thing is don't let the ease of how this all goes together fool you. It, it took some prototyping and uh, a couple builds to actually get this to where the end user could just take this and put it together this easy. And there you have it. It's just that easy to put together. And then all you'll do here is you'll lift this up and you will put your pots in, uh, inside of here if you're growing some herbs or something in pots. Or you can actually put your dirt in here and grow right from in here. So stay tuned for some videos that Stacy and I will be putting together to show you guys how to use a cold frame. Now don't forget, there's a limited number of these. Um, they are made of uh, good quality and I think you're really going to enjoy them. And we're going to leave um, the email address down below if you want to get one. All you have to do is email us and then we will send you the details and then we ship them out to you and it's no problem. Also, if you're going to be at the Missouri Organic Growers Association meeting, uh, this next weekend on the 31st, 1st, and 2nd in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, we're going to bring some there if you want to pick one up just on directly. And then we'll also have some at the uh, Baker Creek Spring Planting Festival in uh, Mansfield, Missouri, the first weekend in May, Sunday and Monday, the first Sunday and Monday in May. So don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.